Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're in the 335i. Finally, I'm actually daily driving this. It's been the second day and there's no issues. It's kind of crazy to say. Um, I got this car, I don't know if you guys know, a while back. Uh, I smoke tested. I uh, had uh, my DMTL pump saying there was a leak in the system. So we had it smoke tested and, uh, you know, there was a leak. They ended up patching that leak. But what they also forgot is that they left one of the pipes clogged to test the system and they never unclogged it. So basically, they left me with a bigger problem at the end of the day, and I spent hundreds of dollars in diagnostics and parts and you know just time that I could have been using to rebuild this or invest in other things, but you know I've been wasting with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go confront them, at least let them know from what they did to learn their lesson, and uh, at least ask them to see if they can hook it up with like a muffler delete or something. It's not that, what I'm asking is nothing compared to how much money I went through because of their mistake. Um, I'll show you guys the piece real quick. I know it's a little bit loud guys and I'm sorry, but basically they put this thing on one of the hoses to cap it off to do a smoke test because there's one down here. One of the hoses is just completely exposed to for fresh air to go inside the car. So when they did the smoke test, it would just keep coming out of here. They need to kind of like compress the system so it can it'll go through the cracks and holes that there are, you know, throughout the entire system. Um, so yeah, this was a piece they put in there and they forgot to take it out. And that cost me thousands and hundreds of dollars and right? just diagnostics and parts. Are you trying Disney. to make a video? You're trying to make a video, but you just We're trying coming. to make a video, man. Should we go confront him too? Let's go. This is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go down there. I'm gonna be civil. I'm gonna be, you know, respect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna respect the dude because he did do his job. But at the same time, he didn't do his job. So I'm gonna confront him and just let him know what he did. At least he can learn from here. Um, at the same time, um, I'm gonna be asking him for at least maybe my diagnostic, you know, fee returned because of how much money I've been spending because of them. So I'm just gonna ask them if they can refund my diagnostic. Um, I think that's pretty fair because they actually screwed up my car um, through a diagnostic. Or I'm just gonna ask if they could do, you know, compensate for something else as small as a muffler delete because they only charge like 80 bucks for that. So if they can at least do me something, make it right, I'll be cool with it. If not, you know, I will let you guys know don't. the shop and I'm just gonna make sure you guys don't go to the shop. I don't, mean, don't even give them your car to do a muffler delete. They're so bad. Well, I'm gonna make sure I stay there with them to make sure they, they don't mess up my car. Yeah. But I, mean, I did the resonator delete over there. Yeah, he might, they messed up my shit. He me they messed up his car too, so. I'll be there if they're doing my muffler delete or anything. I just want them to do me right. And if they don't, I'll let you guys know the shop. And I just want to make sure you guys don't go to this shop because the rating is five stars and I don't believe it. I'm going to make sure I leave a negative review if they don't make it right. And uh, you guys can just, you know, make sure, I'll just make sure because a lot of you guys are in my area not to go to the shop because they screwed me over, they screwed my friend over and they have five stars. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, we'll head down there after we go to my friend Erlon's place. We're just going to help him code his car and then we'll head straight down there. All right, guys, so we're here at the shop. This is where I got all the stuff done. So <laughs> this is moment of truth, bro. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna see how this works out. Like that? Huh? Should be, we should be fine. Guys, we just look. All right, I'll call you later. Okay, we'll talk after a while. We're with you, okay, guys? Yeah, right. no worries. All the which yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm wondering. Uh, so I went to a few shops and I've been paying diagnostic, 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 and then they this is the one that got shot up. The one that got shot yeah, up. Yeah. Okay. Here. Gotcha. And uh, basically, they told me there's nothing wrong with the modules. There's nothing wrong with the wiring, which I've been, you know, going over and over sure, and over. Sure. They couldn't sure. find yeah. my issue because I, I was just either assuming because the vacuum in the fuel tank it has to be a leak or um, a clog. Well, it's a, it's more more likely something plugged than a leak yeah, because exactly. it's creating vacuum. Yeah, exactly. So we'll let so, the air escape. So, yeah. um, after I went to BMW, they found out that this was in one of my uh, what's it called, my vent valves, and I told them, well, what is this thing? They said it's used for smoke testing, and I've been huh. purchasing like hundreds of dollars worth of parts, and I've been going to like I paid already three diagnostics after you guys. Yeah. And they came down saying that was unplugged from your vent valve, and that was like capped off for a smoke test, and I'm assuming he never put that back. Huh, did they did they put it back together and it's fine now? Everything's fine now. Huh. That's why I never had this issue until I brought it for the smoke right. test, and he said after we just fix your problem, and they just had it happen, and then, I mean, I have nothing, I don't know anything about ventilation systems, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering, like, after all that money I'm spending, you can at least, like, compensate for the diagnostic, because that yeah, let me Let me go talk to Larry, see if this is even his. I don't yeah. know, if, yeah, make sure that that's not something that we missed. So yeah, give me a second, okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. 
All right, I'll give you a call here in a little bit. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Like what time around? Uh, he's back. He just left for an hour, so call me back about two thirty. All right. Cool. All right, I man. Thank it. you. How you doing, sir? I. Uh, all right, guys, so I pretty much went in there. I told him what was going on. He told me that uh, he's going to wait for his guy to get back. He's going to ask him if this is the part that they used. 100% is going to be their part. He's going to work with me here. So hopefully we don't have to do anything crazy, but at least if he can compensate me for, you know, them messing up my diagnostic, I'll be cool with that. So I'll come back to you guys in two and a half hours when uh, the mechanic comes back. All right. Wait, what? My guy uses when he does stuff. This isn't this isn't one of his. Those are the tools he uses. So this didn't come from my shop. But I only did a smoke test here. He yeah, said that's for a smoke test. Well, you only did a you only did a smoke test here. I, we're not yeah. sure what happened to it prior to it going to the auction, or or I mean, I, maybe somebody just plugged this so it wouldn't leak fuel out. I don't know. But that's my guy doesn't ha he doesn't even have any of these. This is what he uses in his toolkit. He doesn't even have anything like that. I mean, I'm willing to work with you. But I mean, I've got about four hours in, in looking for that problem, and I only charge you for one hour. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard to. But like, I yeah. didn't have this problem before. That was my like. I drove the car for weeks. I had. It, I was doing. You know. Well, there was other. There was other holes in the in the lines that would relieve that pressure. So once we fixed that one line that we found the bullet hole in, remember? Yeah. Then that's probably what sealed the system off. So I I'm not sure where this came from, but I'm certain it didn't come from here. I only have one guy that does smoke tests. And that's his. Those are, those are what he uses right there. He's got a whole drawer full of those. He has nothing that looks like that at all. All of the ones he has is tapered. So that's a specific to a specific part right there. I mean, if, if, if you're going to do some exhaust work in the future, I'll work you a deal on, you know, like, I, I'll work you a deal on some labor or something like that. But to actually hand you over money, that's, that's not going to happen, man. So, like, so yeah. if I was just doing my delete real quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, if you want to do a muffler delete, I'll just do it for you for nothing. So I wouldn't be able to today. But if you want to come in tomorrow or Friday, I'll hook you up. I mean, if, that's, right. if that works for you, yeah, I, I, I want you to be happy. Don't get yeah. me wrong. But, man, we've got, you know, that's such an unusual circumstance, yeah. a car that got shot up. We yeah. still, so hunting for that, I mean, typically most shops would be like, yeah, I can't find it here. Take it. Yeah, car. It's just in my you perspective. Yeah, oh, I, get, I completely I understand what you're saying. Know, so, yeah. Over, yeah. They said this came yeah. from a smoke test. And yeah. I was like, I only did one smoke yeah. test. Yeah. I was like, yeah. you know. And I, and I honestly thought, and my guy Larry, he's a straight shooter. He don't bullshit. I, yeah. I actually refunded a lady yesterday for, for, so it's not like I'm not willing to do that if we do something wrong. But he's like, nope, that's, that didn't come from his, his supply. He doesn't have anything that even looks like that. So, so yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. can we so just go yeah. off with yeah. Just bring it in tomorrow. Uh, plan on dropping it off for a couple hours, and I'll hook okay. you up. That sounds fair. Yeah. You'll work with. That'll yeah. be good. No, okay, so I want you to be All happy. Right. All right, man. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, guys. All right, guys. So pretty much, I just got out of the shop. They assured me that that part is not theirs. Um, again, you, I don't really know who to trust. I like to take the benefit of the doubt and say that it wasn't them. But then again, they're the only people I've done a smoke test on this car. And, you know, what, what are the odds that it needed a smoke test before the whole vandalized thing? I mean, to be honest, that just doesn't make any sense to me. So, um, obviously, I did it professionally. I didn't, you know, I didn't push anything on him. But, you know, I do respect them. They told me that we can make it right. We can't refund you. But we can't make it right. We can do like a muffler delete or something for you. I'm like, all right. You know, I plan on doing a muffler delete down the road. It's going to cost about 100 bucks anyways. The diagnostic was like 150 Whatever, if they can do a muffle with for me, I think that's fair. They should bring it in tomorrow. Um, I think that's fair. Um, this is just, you know, a life lesson. If something happens to you guys and you guys know that a shop probably caused this, um, just try to work it out with them. They should be able to be, you know, chill with you. If not, then confront them. That's something that you guys need to do because most mechanics, to be honest with you guys, tend to screw people over. So it's just like a life lesson. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy I went down there. At least I got something out of it because, you know, it, I feel I'm, I'm like 89% sure it was them that caused the, the problem and the, who else did a smoke test on this car? It doesn't make any sense. Moral of the story guys, if you guys know or feel like a mechanic did something wrong in your car, confront them because most likely it is them. If not, they're willing to work with you um, and you know, that's just life because and that's that's pretty much it. I don't want to like, you know, ramble on so much. But yeah, we got a muffled delete, guys, which means a muffled delete video coming soon. Probably tomorrow, the next video. I don't know. I'm so we'll excited see. for that, that's man. That's pretty dope. I do plan on doing a muffled delete anyway, so 
we'll get that done on them. Um, we're not really on them. I technically paid for it, but whatever. We'll see. All right, guys. So I'm actually editing the video right now, and uh, I've noticed I don't have an outro, but just want to say before I actually get this muffler delete done on the car, the fact that they're saying you needed a smoke test before it hit auction doesn't make much sense to me because they told me and they showed me that there was a bullet through one of my lines that they ended up repairing so why would it have needed a smoke test before if the damage was caused after the whole vandalism scene so i don't know it's not adding up to me regardless they made it right they're giving me a muffin delete typically the cost around my area like 120 to 150 dollars i pay about 150 for a diagnostic around there i think so I think they, they're pretty fair. I, I was going to do a muffler delete regardless and then, you know, do catalyst down pipes on the 335 regardless. So that's something I was going to do. So if he's going to do it, you know, why not? That's going to, that, you know, that's a plus. And uh, at least we figured out our issue. Um, I'm going to be telling you guys how we fixed the issue and who fixed my issue in a video, um, in like a couple videos. Um, because I want to like personally thank them. You guys will see that video down the road. But yeah, basically one of you guys reached out, you guys helped me find the issue, and uh, it was something just so stupid. Um, I have all kinds of plans, all, kind of, all kinds of maintenance things coming up. But I just want to say for the sake of this video, um, because I, because it's pretty much I'm going to be having like confronting on the title. I have nothing against the shop. I'll probably even go back there um, for a few things here and there because they are my local shop. And you guys saw how respectful the owner of the shop was. I didn't say I was recording. None of this was like scripted and he thought I was recording. So he was like acting a different way. He didn't know I was recording. So he made it right. Good guy. Um, and if it wasn't them... You know, my bad, but you know, it just from from the sequence of events that happened with the car, it just made it just it's like eight ninety percent sure it's dumb. But if it's not, my apologies. So I have nothing against the shop whatsoever. But again, they made it right. And if you guys ever have an issue with the shop and your car is worse than it was when you took it out, you guys can take it back. You have the right to do that, and you have the right to uh, pretty much say it was their fault if you know for, like for sure it was them that caused a problem before your car you know was at the shop all right guys love you guys so much uh probably a muffin delete video soon um or the interior swap because probably saw the interior that it was already swapped in this video um i pretty much edited the video already but i want to put this video out first so um lots of things to come guys lots of things to come but uh smash that like button if we can get this video to 300 likes make sure to get the next video out within two days or one day so yeah remember to stay humble peace out see you guys in the next one